10 vitamins that will lower your blood pressure. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a condition that affects a large number of people around the world. It can increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other health problems. While there are many factors that contribute to hypertension, including genetics and lifestyle, diet is one of the most important. Several vitamins have been shown to have a positive effect on blood pressure levels. In this video, we will discuss the top 10 vitamins that will lower your blood pressure. Number 10. Vitamin D Vitamin D is an essential nutrient that is necessary for many bodily functions, including bone health, immune function, and regulation of blood pressure. Vitamin D helps regulate the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, which is responsible for controlling blood pressure. Studies have shown that people with low levels of vitamin D are more likely to have high blood pressure. A study published in the Journal of General Internal Medicine found that taking a daily supplement of 2000 IU of vitamin D for 12 weeks reduced systolic blood pressure by an average of 2.6 mmHg. Vitamin D can be obtained through exposure to sunlight and from certain foods such as fatty fish and fortified dairy products. However, it can be difficult to get enough vitamin D through diet alone, so supplementation may be necessary. Number 9. Vitamin C Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is an antioxidant that plays an important role in cardiovascular health. It helps to improve blood vessel functions and reduce inflammation, which can contribute to hypertension. A review of 29 studies found that taking a vitamin C supplement of at least 500 mg per day for at least 8 weeks significantly reduced systolic and diastolic blood pressure. The effect was greater in people with high blood pressure than in those with normal blood pressure. Vitamin C can be found in many fruits and vegetables such as citrus fruits, strawberries, kiwi, bell peppers, and broccoli. However, it can be difficult to get in a vitamin C through diet alone, so supplementation may be necessary. Number 8. Vitamin B12 Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a water-soluble vitamin that is important for nerve function, red blood cell production, and DNA synthesis. It has also been shown to play a role in regulating blood pressure. A study published in the American Journal of Hypertension found that people with low levels of vitamin B12 were more likely to have high blood pressure. The study also found that taking a vitamin B12 supplement of 500 mcg per day for 8 weeks significantly reduced systolic blood pressure. Vitamin B12 is found naturally in animal products such as meat, fish, and dairy. However, it can be difficult for vegetarians and vegans to get enough vitamin B12 through diet alone, so supplementation may be necessary. Number 7. Vitamin E Vitamin E is an antioxidant that is important for immune function and cell signaling. It has also been shown to have a positive effect on blood pressure. A meta-analysis of 11 studies found that taking a vitamin E supplement of at least 400 IU per day for at least 8 weeks significantly reduced the systolic blood pressure. Vitamin E may work by improving endothelial function, which is important for maintaining healthy blood vessels. Vitamin E can be found in nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils such as sunflower, safflower, and wheat germ oil. However, it can be difficult to get enough vitamin E through diet alone, so supplementation may be necessary. Some popular vitamin E supplements include Nature's Bounty Vitamin E Soft Gels and Solgar Vitamin E 400 IU Soft Gels. Number 6. Magnesium Magnesium is a mineral that is important for many bodily functions, including muscle and nerve function, and bone health. It has also been shown to have a positive effect on blood pressure. A meta-analysis of 22 studies found that taking a magnesium supplement of at least 370 mg per day for at least 8 weeks significantly reduced both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Magnesium may work by relaxing blood vessels and improving endothelial function. Magnesium can be found in many foods, including leafy green vegetables, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. However, it can be difficult to get enough magnesium through diet alone, so supplementation may be necessary. Some popular magnesium supplements include nature-made magnesium citrate soft gels and doctor's best high absorption magnesium tablets. Number 5. Coenzyme Q10 COQ10 is a coenzyme that is important for cellular energy production. It has also been shown to have a positive effect on blood pressure. A meta-analysis of 12 studies found that taking a COQ10 supplement for at least 100 mg per day for at least 8 weeks significantly reduces systolic blood pressure. 
CLQ10 may work by improving endothelial function and reducing oxidative stress. CLQ10 can be found in small amounts in some foods such as fatty fish, organ meats, and whole grains. However, it can be difficult to get enough CLQ10 through diet alone, so supplementation may be necessary. Some popular CLQ10 supplements include Kunal Ultra CLQ10 Soft Gels and Garden of Life Raw CLQ10 Capsules. Number 4. Vitamin K2 Vitamin K2 is important for bone health and has also been shown to have a positive effect on blood pressure. A meta-analysis of five studies found that taking a vitamin K2 supplement of at least 200 mcg per day for at least 8 weeks significantly reduces systolic blood pressure. Vitamin K2 may work by improving endothelial function and reducing inflammation. Vitamin K2 can be found in small amounts in some fermented foods, such as cheese and natto. However, it can be difficult to get enough vitamin K through diet alone, so supplementation may be necessary. Some popular vitamin K2 supplements include Dr. Best's Natural Vitamin K2 with Mana Q7 and Sports Research Vitamin K2 with D3 Soft Gels. Number 3. Thiamine Vitamin B1, also known as thiamine, is a water-soluble vitamin that plays a vital role in converting food into energy. It is also important for nerve function and muscle function. Thiamine deficiency can lead to a condition called beriberi, which can cause symptoms such as weakness, fatigue, and nerve damage. Some studies have suggested that thiamine may also have a positive effect on blood pressure. A meta-analysis of 9 studies found that taking a thiamine supplement of at least 100 mg per day for at least 8 weeks significantly reduced systolic blood pressure. Thiamine may work by improving endothelial function and reducing inflammation. Foods rich in thiamine include whole grains, legumes, nuts, pork, and yeast. However, processing and refining can remove thiamine from grains, so it's important to choose whole grain products whenever possible. Thiamine supplements are also available and can be taken orally or injected. Number 2. Riboflavin Vitamin B2, also known as riboflavin, is a water-soluble vitamin that is important for energy production and antioxidant function. It is also involved in the metabolism of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Riboflavin deficiency can lead to a condition called ariboflavinosis, which can cause symptoms such as cracked lips, sore throat, and skin rash. Some studies have suggested that riboflavin may have a positive effect on blood pressure. A meta-analysis of seven studies found that taking a riboflavin supplement of at least 200 mg per day for at least 8 weeks significantly reduced systolic blood pressure. Riboflavin may work by improving endothelial function and reducing inflammation. Foods rich in riboflavin include milk, yogurt, leafy green vegetables, liver, and almonds. Riboflavin supplements are also available and can be taken orally. However, it is important to note that high doses of riboflavin can cause bright yellow urine, which is harmless but may be alarming to some individuals. Number 1. Niacin Vitamin B3, also known as niacin, is a water-soluble vitamin that is important for energy production and DNA repair. It is also involved in the metabolism of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Niacin deficiency can lead to a condition called pellagra, which can cause symptoms such as skin rash, diarrhea, and mental confusion. Studies have suggested that niacin may also have a positive effect on blood pressure. Niacin can help to widen blood vessels and improve blood flow, which can lead to a reduction in blood pressure. It may also work by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. Niacin is found in a variety of foods including meat, fish, poultry, whole grains, and legumes. It can also be taken as a supplement in doses ranging from 14 to 18 mg per day. It is important to note that high doses of niacin can cause side effects such as flushing, itching, and stomach upset. Therefore, it is important to speak with a healthcare provider before starting niacin supplementation. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.